Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about icons in Microsoft Excel. Let's go to our computer. And by now you're probably very used to seeing what are called icons on your desktop. It's basically an image which allows you to click on it and you'll then have uh, some kind of function uh, occur by clicking on that icon. So let's open up Excel and I'm going to show you it's the exact same uh, type of thing in Excel. Let's go to Microsoft Office. Let's open up Excel. Now, in your ribbon area here in Excel is where all of the icons uh, reside. And uh, there's a lot of them. As you can see, pretty much every single function inside of Excel has its own little icon of different sizes. And uh, they've tried to separate out the big important ones from the smaller ones that you might use but you might not use as often. Uh, they all have functions. Uh, as you can see here on the very home, uh, the home tab at the beginning, you're going to see a lot of icons that are similar to what you're seeing in Word. You have bold icons, which will uh, bold the current text that you're working with, italicize and underline and alignment. A lot of these work with the cell that you're currently editing. Uh, let's go to insert here. And basically these icons allow you to insert functions, a little more higher level type of things in Excel which would be tables, pivot tables, and uh, images, and, uh, and, and things of that nature. So I'm just going to click on this icon to insert a picture. Which, and as you can see, that picture was very quickly and easily inserted simply by me clicking on that icon and then choosing the picture I'd like to insert. Now, uh, formulas each have their own icon as well, and they are kind of grouped into the function library that you'll see under the formulas tab. Basically, if I want to go to uh, financial formulas, I'll click on the little financial icon and I'm going to get a listing of all the financial formulas that I'm able to put into my cell. Each one of these icons has a use and a meaning and if you hold your mouse over them, you'll get a little pop-up there that tells you what you're looking at. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just explained to you a little bit about icons in Microsoft Excel.